Disney Princess, A Song for Cinderella by Bill Scolan. It was open at night at the Royal Theatre, and Princess Cinderella was excited to see the show. As the curtain went up, the star stepped onto the stage. Cinderella smiled. It was Corinne, a singer she had met long before she became a princess. Years earlier, Cinderella's stepmother, Lady Tremaine, had decided to host a salon at her chateau. It was a regular gathering where girls could learn how to play an instrument and take singing lessons, and it would make Lady Tremaine feel important. The salon sounded boring to Lady Tremaine's two daughters, Drizilla and Anastasia, but Cinderella wanted to attend. Lady Tremaine said no. You have far too many chores to do, she told her stepdaughter. Lady Tremaine's salon began the next day. Cinderella slipped away from her chores to peek in on the lessons. One girl caught her attention. She had the sweetest voice that Cinderella had ever heard. Her name was Corinne. Anastasia and Drusilla soon became jealous of Corinne's talent. Your voice is so quiet, no one can even hear you, hissed Drusilla. Which is a good thing, since you sound like a goose, mocked Anastasia. The next day, Cinderella saw Corinne in town. You sing beautifully, Cinderella said. Do you really think so? asked Corinne. Anastasia said I sound like a goose. That's not true, Cinderella exclaimed. Your voice is as sweet as a songbird's. When the salon began the next day, Anastasia and Drusilla continued to tease Corinne. If you were so smart, Drusilla said, you give up on singing. Just look at her. You can tell she's not special. Anastasia snarled. Maybe they're right, Corinne said to Cinderella after the salon. Maybe I should quit singing. I don't think so, said Cinderella. I have an idea. Meet me in town tomorrow. The next day, Corinne and Cinderella arrived in the town square. Cinderella had a plan to help Corinne feel better about her singing. It was time for Corinne to see for herself how good she really was. First, Cinderella had Corinne Sing for the shopkeeper at the music store. Corinne, feeling shy, sang softly for him. He thought she was charming. At the blacksmith's, Corinne sang more confidently. The blacksmith cheered. At the bakery, Corinne sang louder. The baker clapped. At the perfume store, Corinne's voice was strong and full of energy. Superb, cooed a patron. At the next salon, Lady Tremaine made an announcement. Madame Lavoie, a famous opera singer, is visiting tomorrow. She would select one student to study with her. It was the chance of a lifetime. Cinderella ran up to Corinne. I'll be right by your side for the audition, she told her. Just be yourself. And remember, your voice is as sweet as the songbirds. Thank you, said Corinne. You know, I really do think I have a chance. But when Madame Lavoie arrived, Lady Tremaine sent Cinderella to do chores. When it was Corinne's turn to audition, she opened her mouth, and nothing came out. Drusilla and Anastasia were next. They sang a dreadfully off-key duet. Later, as Madame Lavoie headed for her carriage, Corinne told Cinderella what had happened. It's not too late, Cinderella said. If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Corinne gave Cinderella a hug. I think I'm ready to sing now. Cinderella called out to the opera singer. Madame Lavoie, if you please, Corinne would like to sing for you, she said. Corinne stood right in front of Madame Lavoie and sang in a voice that was as sweet as a songbird's. I have found a most talented student, Madame Lavoie announced. I predict Corinne will be a great star one day. Everyone applauded, except for Drusilla and Anastasia. Now, years later, at the Royal Theatre, Princess Cinderella hugged Corinne after the show. Your voice is as sweet as ever, she said. Thank you, Corinne said. I couldn't have done it without you, Princess. Suddenly, a young performer ran up to Corinne. I did it, she said. I sang out loud. I heard you, said Corinne. Your voice was as sweet as the songbirds. Princess Cinderella smiled. It warmed her heart to hear the very words she had spoken to Corinne all those years ago.